Hey what's up guys, it's Alex Workshop and so today we're going to be making this red dot side. So first of all we just gotta transfer this blueprint onto our plastic sheet which is by the way about 3 millimeters thick. For this project we will also need a old CD disc cover from which we will be cutting out our actual glass of the site and the part where the disc sticks to the cover. Okay, so first of all we will be cutting out this little piece here using of course a knife. I know I could have used the saw, but unfortunately at this very moment I'm unable to do that. The reason for that being just not being able to go out and actually cut things out, so I have to do it all at home where I can't really use the saw because my PC is near and the dust can, can get into my PC and I kind of worry about that, so I'll just use a knife for now. It took me quite a while to actually cut this out, but the final product should sort of kind of look like this and now we have to bend this plastic piece at the parts where I have marked with my pencil. It is the first time I'm actually working with plastic so I decided not to risk it too much and just do it with a lighter rather than a Bunsen burner. I thought it was gonna be way safer and it actually worked out pretty well. Okay so whilst I uh, do this part I just want to quickly talk about what's going on on my channel right now. To be honest nothing's really going on because like the last time I uploaded was half a year ago ish and now i'm doing very intense studying at school so i don't really have much time for making this kind of videos by the way just a, as a quick note if you guys don't know what kind of site i'm making well here's a picture of it in battlefield 4 this is the site that i'm trying to make it was originally gonna be a hollow site but now it's a red dot by the way this video doesn't mean that videos are gonna be uh coming out frequently because, oh my god, I have so much stuff to take care of right now, it's it's quite a turning point in my life and um, I will have to put my priorities up on studies rather than making videos for YouTube and I hope you guys can understand that. I will be trying my best to push out new videos from time to time but don't expect them back to back, straight up videos after video. Anyways guys, what I'm doing on the screen now is actually marking out the plastic part that um, will serve as a LED holder. So this part is going to be centering the LED light into the window thing in the very top of the site. There's just a little plastic thing that looks pretty decent and uh, hopefully will make an aesthetic addition to my site. And it goes on top of my thing just like this. And I wouldn't really care about the color just yet. And just just kind of get it all working and set up. So our next step would be to drill a little hole in the middle of this plastic bit right here. This is where our LED is gonna shine through and I'm gonna demonstrate that to you right after I show you what I've done um, after burning some more plastic. So on the main shape I've decided to curve those little things at the very back to make the side shorter and just look better. Uh, this little bottom part as well I decided to make a little front on it so that it matches the whole shape of the side. Moving that aside I actually made a couple of plastic bits as well so this for example will go uh, with the plastic part that we have drilled into. It will be stuck to the bottom of the plastic part to hold the LED into the uh, centering hole. So this piece will go to the back of the side just as follows and the LED is going to be resting on top of it with the battery. It's going to be shining through this little hole that we drilled in the little black piece here uh, and this light is going to be reflected in the actual like window of the site which is going to make the whole site work. There are also two white bits that are going to go on the sides just to close up all of the gaps. And that's pretty much it for the assembly. Now uh, I just want to quickly show you guys how the battery will work with the LED. So it actually is very very simple. All you have to do is get this little LED thing which can clip with the battery very easily as you can see it kind of works and this is like this is this is hard as it gets in terms of electronic stuff. Okay so let's see how that's gonna work in action. Um, so we got our hole here now we can test this by taking our LED connecting it to the battery and trying to put it through the hole as you can see it kind of centers the light ray that is coming from this LED and if we put it up against the little window that we're going to be using which is from the old CD case thing that everyone has and as you can see if we shine the light into it you, you, you can see the little red dot in there of course it's going to be uh, looking better in the final build but for now this is this is just the 
light concept of how it's gonna work. So we can now actually glue all of that together now because we've got all the parts and everything. And uh, we will be gluing all of this using the glue gun, which will allow me to get into hard to access places. And uh, yeah, you can just like watch some footage of me doing this. So first of all, I'll be, I'll be gluing the bottom part to the main frame. Then I glued all the back plates and stuff on where my uh, LED actually is supposed to rest and uh, cut out the little window from the clear CD plastic. And I would actually recommend you use really big powerful scissors to cut the little window in front because sometimes you just need that little bit of extra force to actually trim it off. And in the very end events it should look approximately something like this. Now this is how the final site would be looking like. As you can see I added some little details here and there uh, but they're not really that major. So let's let's just go through them real quick. As you can see I've got the little carb cupboard cover at the very end. It's just because I couldn't actually make it out of plastic and that's why I did it out of cardboard. And also cardboard is a very kind of if I should say so like malleable sort of a sort of material. <laughs> I don't really know but it, it's just really really easy to work with and it's quite reliable to be honest as you can see I've got my battery sitting right in this nest uh, that I did there I actually spent quite a bit of time putting the glue on there and making sure it's perfectly in contact with the little wires that are coming off the LED uh, but in the very end it just kind of worked out for me and if we put the battery inside uh, and make sure that the wires touch it from both sides. We can see that the little LED starts to light up and the ray of light that is being emitted is reflected through the little window at the front and we are just going to witness this in a second. As you can see the cardboard piece kind of clips into the plastic bits here as well. So that was a design decision. Um, so if I turn this thing around we could see that we've got a fully functioning red dot side just like it would look in real life and this is very 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 interesting for me because I've never actually known how to make a red dot side but now making this project was at least something really helpful and you can also spot those little rails at the bottom those are made so that the side can actually clip to some of my guns I'll be testing that in a second and uh, giving you guys the results just a quick little spoiler it didn't fit on most of my guns but I made it fit using some cardboard and double sided tape so I just kind of had to stick it on the gun rather than actually trying to slide it on it using the Picatinny's plank. Anyways you may be wondering how I'm gonna turn it off because the, like, the battery sits in there and it's it just there permanently. Well I tried to find a way to work around it and tried sticking a piece of paper in but it was actually just too much hustle so I ended up kind of turning the battery around so that it doesn't conduct with the right sides. And this may have just been the most genius thing I came up with throughout the project. Just a bit more on the cardboard bit. It, it's actually just a little box that I found out that was made out of cardboard. And uh, I just kind of decided to cut a little bit of it so that I could use it for the site. And uh, I found it really, really useful in actually closing this little last part off. I don't actually know how I would have done it with plastic. And it probably would have been a lot of hustle. But there's that anyway. Okay, so let's just take a look at how the side looks on some of my... First of all, I couldn't help it but to mount it on my vector because it just had such a nice rail to mount it on and it clipped like it was born here. That probably doesn't make any sense. Anyways though, uh, it clipped on very nicely actually. Not looking at the hollow side here. It, it actually just, just kind of clipped on very, very well and I probably in future I'll be removing the hollow side completely so that I can have this red dot on it. Another gun that it fitted on very well was the Deagle surprisingly. It doesn't really look that good however it just it just clipped on it just works because my deagle has a really good rail and it's quite high detailed so i kind of expected it to clip on it anyways no matter how many sides you equip on the deagle it still looks nice which i couldn't say about the negev because i i just kind of put it on there it didn't clip onto the rail so it just kind of rested on top of it i mean this side does look good on every gun but probably not on that one in particular. Next I decided to equip it on another pistol of mine which was the GSR from Critical Ops and to be honest it cl clipped on pretty well. 
um, although I wouldn't say so about the looks of it now because it just doesn't look good. It looks bulky and just doesn't look good. Next I decided to pull out one of my really really old shotties. I still have a review of this shotty from a couple years ago. Um, and I, I just kind of decided to try it on and it somehow fitted on since it's got the rails and stuff and it, it just fitted on and it looks pretty pretty decent, not gonna lie. You can still find a video of me showcasing this shotgun if you scroll down for long enough you'll be able to eventually find this video. Moving on, we've got one of my toy guns which I've ordered and reviewed on this channel which is the AWP and since it had a pretty decent rail I decided to stick my red dot sight on top of it and see how that would look and it actually looks pretty decent, not going to lie, it is looking quite slick. So moving on to my favorite gun which I actually ended up sticking my sight on uh, is the M4 from Critical Ops. With a little silencer at the end as well, which took me uh, a day to actually make, and this is why the lighting has changed a little bit. But now until the end of the video, you get to see me reload this gun multiple times, because I just, I just love it. It looks so good, it looks very, very nice, you, you can even take the silencer off, it just looks amazing. So, this is kind of the end of the video guys, and I hope you, you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe if you like the video, like if you like the video, or dislike if you didn't, share with your friends if you feel like you need to, and I'll see you guys in my next video.